Hello, everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I am diving you into an electrifying topic that sounds straight out of an electrical engineering textbook. But trust me, it's everywhere around you. The electrifying world of AC and DC, whether voltage or current. Today, we are going to see the difference between AC and DC on a digital storage oscilloscope or DSO. It is going to be an interesting topic today. We are giving now AC supply to a DSO. The waveform you see is a smooth continuous sine wave that oscillates above and below zero. It oscillates back and forth changing direction periodically. You can see the positive trough as well as the negative trough sinusoidal signal. Now we are going to give the DC supply or you can say the direct current. This is a steady one directional flow of electricity. Amplitude is constant. Also the direction is unidirectional. On a DSO DC appears as a flat line. You can see it indicating a constant voltage or current. But here is where it gets interesting. Now we are going to compare both AC and DC on a DSO. So when we compare both AC and DC on the DSO, you are not just looking at the waves. You are seeing the very nature of how electrical power behaves and is transmitted. This is very interesting. You can see how the power is transmitted, AC power as well as DC power. AC waveform can show how voltage and current changes over time which is crucial for understanding how your devices handle these changes. On the other hand, DC straight line can help you pinpoint exactly where your power supply might be failing or underperforming. Uh, also, you can see the frequency in an AC voltage or AC current. The AC frequency is the number of cycles in an AC sine wave per second. As you can see, the frequency component is present in the AC signal. So, the AC frequency is the number of cycles in an AC sine wave per second. As the number of cycles per second hertz uh, in India, and 60 hertz in America. But in the DC component, you see the frequency component is zero. But why does this matter? Well, for engineers, understanding these differences helps us in diagnosing issues, diagnosing more efficient systems, even and even innovating new technologies, whether you are making a circuit board or designing the next big. Plus, using a DSO to observe these differences in real time can be pretty mesmerizing. As you know, alternating currents is the star of the electrical grid. Well, it is because AC can travel long distances without losing power, thanks to transformers that can easily step up or step down the voltage. On the other hand, you see, direct current is the unsung hero in many, many of our gadgets, as it is stable and constant. Think about the battery in your phone or laptop. It is perfect for devices that need a steady and reliable power supply. But transporting DC over long distances is not so efficient. Because it loses power faster and is harder to convert from high to low voltage. Now here is where it gets interesting. See? Even though our homes and offices are powered by AC, many devices internally convert this AC to DC as laptop, your charger. But have you wondered, ever wondered why? Well, it is because more electronic circuits require DC to function properly. You, you might have seen the little box of the charging card uh, on the charger, whether it is laptop or whether it is phone. It is actually converting AC from your wall into DC for your devices. But the plot thickness in the world of renewable energy. As you so see the solar panels and the electric vehicles, they run on DC. So this has sparked a lot of debates around about whether our future might swing back to more towards DC. Especially with improved technology that might, that might make DC easier to manage and distribute. So what is the best? This is the question, biggest question, whether AC is the best or DC. But the answer isn't so, so simple. Or you can say the answer isn't so straightforward. Both have their pros and cons, and the choice really depends on the application. As you see, for the long distance, distance power distribution, AC is the king. But for digital, digital devices and renewable energy applications, DC might just be the way for the future. AC is generated by AC generators, or you can say the alternators, and is the standard of transmitting the LXT. On the other hand, you can see the DC. DC is generated by batteries or by solar panels or even DC generators. Now we are going to see the voltage transformation. AC can be easily transformed to higher or lower voltages by using transformers, making it suitable for the power grid where high voltage is used for transmission and lower voltage for end use. DC voltage is more complex and requires electronic converters, so voltage transformation is easy in AC as compared to DC.